All right, number three is asking, write an expression that computes the average of the values of 12 and 40 here. So I want an expression that computes the average of the values 12 and 40. So if I'm talking about the expression that computes the average from the values to from 12 to 12 and 40, what I have to do is I have to actually think about what is what is the definition of an average? So I have here an average is simply just equals to basically the sum of all all your numbers here. So sum of uh, you can think of this as your uh, as a constant value. So in this case, we have two numbers here. We have 12 and 40, right? So in this case, we could write this as, you can write this as maybe like an X term, and this here is a Y term. Or actually, maybe in to, to kind of be in line with the solution, we're going to say this here is the A term, and this here is the B term. So you can say it's the sum of all terms here. So let's say it's A plus B plus C, and then so on and so forth, divided by uh, the number of... Um, the number of terms that we have uh, on the top. So I'm going to define this as n here. So if I have two terms, this here n would be equal to. If I have three terms, it would equal three, and so on and so forth. So this here is how, how you calculate your average, right? So it depends on how many terms we have. In this case, we only have two terms. We have a plus b here divided by, we have two terms here, we're divided by two, right? So this here will be our expression that calculates the average, right? The average would equal a plus b divided by 2, right? And this here is the definition of, uh, this here is our expression to compute the average. And obviously we can use this to actually find out what our average is. a plus b is 12 plus 40 divided by 2. 12 plus 40 here is 52 divided by 2, which would equal 26. So this here is the correct answer. As you can see, they wrote, um, it's a plus b divided by 2, which is great. Um, and then uh, they found the average here. They are added numbers and divided the number by two. So it's 52 divided by two, which is 26 here. So the solution here is correct.